Welcome to the dance engineering office today. So uh, yeah, not the dyno, uh, makes a change. Um, I just wanted to do a little bit of a video on a project we've been doing uh, for a, a, basically a Porsche 924 Turbo. Um, we've decided we need to do a bit of a EFI upgrade kit. Uh, we keep getting asked for this. Um, so we've taken the time to uh, develop a bit of a fuel rail and injector solution to go alongside the rest of our products that we already offer for the 924. Um, so as you can see today we've got a 924 turbo cylinder head on the bench. Um, quite a rare beast, uh, you don't see many of those. We managed to get our hands on one just to uh, develop this kit. So I just wanted to run over the basics of the kit and how it goes together um, so that you guys at home can uh, purchase and fit along with any of our other 924 products. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run you through this kit and uh, yeah, see what you think. Okay, so uh, a bit difficult to uh, get everything in the shot here, but um, I'm just gonna run over the basic components that uh, come with this kit and then I'll uh, just give you a brief overview of how they fit onto the vehicle, onto the cylinder head, because uh, it's quite a unique sort of uh, mounting solution. Uh, so basically the parts are there in front of us. We've got our usual billet uh, fuel rail. Uh, this one has been requested with a AN fitting on there, so uh, we've put that on there. Uh, and an AN fitting on this end, obviously. Uh, we've got the brackets for mounting it. Uh, obviously, we supply a set of injectors if you require them. Uh, they're a short body injector. I'll explain why shortly, uh, but that's the only size that is gonna fit into this application. These are our cylinder head adapters so they have the M24 thread on one end which is going to go into the 924 cylinder head I believe it will also suit some other VWs and that sort of thing uh, on the other side obviously we have the usual Bosch 14 millimeter hole for the Bosch o-ring for the uh, for the injector um, but the clever bit about these is they are actually a screw together component so they come into two pieces and that will allow us to sandwich the brackets. So our little fuel rail brackets um, will just slot over the upper component and screw together like so, giving us a mounting bracket basically. So if I just move you up uh, so you can see the cylinder head, uh, obviously we've got the crossover pipe on here at the moment. Uh, this is the critical thing we needed to clear it with the bottom of the fuel rail. Um, so if I just remove that for the time being. I've got this built up in various stages. So at this side we've just got um, the single component screwed into the cylinder head, so the M24 thread. Um, on the inside of these components we have a hex for an Allen key on both parts, so you can screw that piece into the cylinder head. Once you screw that piece into the cylinder head, you can mount the bracket as I just showed you. So that bracket is currently loose, obviously, but if we tighten that up, uh, that will put the bracket in position. Now, because these are on a diagonal, we have put a small flat on the bottom of each of these arms. That just means that should you need to, if you're struggling to line it all up, you need to put a ruler across those straight edges and as long as those all four those straight edges uh, touch your ruler, then um, then you've got these at the correct angle. But to be honest, when you'll find when you put it together, it does tend to just align itself. So um, yeah, so basically screw the top piece in to sandwich the bracket. Um, this at uh, this end I've just got, oh, you can't actually see that, but I've got an injector fitted in there. Um, so that's fine. Um, and then basically our fuel rail, uh, we've got an injector just pushed in there at the moment on this end. Uh, if I just slot that over the injector at this end, it basically mounts like so. And then of course we have the usual spacer pillar, which is going to mount in between the fuel rail and the bracket. So obviously we provide all the fasteners to do this so we've got the the long fasteners to go through there um, and yeah that basically mounts the kit so once that's on there I'm just going to leave that there loose put the crossover pipe on we've got plenty of clearance mount that back on like so we've got about 10 millimeters underneath so that's the reason that we've got a set of short injectors in there if you try and use any longer injectors um, then it's going to uh, 
foul with this uh, this crossover pipe. So uh, yeah, so that is basically our EFI conversion kit for the 924 turbo engine. We believe it will also fit, uh, although we have yet to test, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, it should fit the normally aspirated 924 as well. The only issue may be at this end. Um, we have this fuel connection here currently. Um, I believe that may sort of point straight into the intake pipe. But the other option we do have, because I believe on the normal 924, this is lower, the, uh, the housing here. Uh, we can just come off the end of the fuel rail in a straight line for the re, uh, for the return line fuel pipe. So um, yeah, it should be suitable for the 924 as well. Um, as some of you will probably already know, we do do a range of components for the 924. Um, we do a little throttle position sensor kit that will fit this engine, so it will go straight underneath onto the um, onto the uh, to the throttle spindle on this engine. Uh, it also fits the normal 924, it fits 944s as well um, and we also do the crank position sensor kit uh, which is uh, available on our website already and we also offer complete engine management system so this is the ME221 very powerful ECU um, we'll do all the, all the tricks all the motorsport stuff um, got onboard wideband all the rest of it boost control uh, all of this is available on the website as well. We're going to put a package together for the complete solution for this engine. So that'll have the crank sensor kit, it'll have the throttle position sensor kit, it'll have the boost control kit. Obviously the ECU, it's a plug and play wiring harness so we can supply a wasted spark coil pack, typical Ford type as you get with all of these aftermarket ECUs. Uh, we can supply the ignition leads, we can basically supply the full kit to convert this uh, old 924 engine into a modern EFI package uh, and obviously you're going to get massive gains in terms of performance, economy, reliability, all the rest of it because I know that some of the components for these engines are very expensive these days uh, to if you want to replace them if they go down for any reason. So yeah, if you go on our website you'll find all of these components, I will link them in the description below. Um, yeah, so if you like this then uh, obviously check some of our videos out, uh, go on our website and uh, yeah, see what you think. Thank you.